Oh, you smell that? Mm. It's such a beautiful morning and that means it's time to make some pumpkin pancakes because it is Thanksgiving, so what a better time than to enjoy the Thanksgiving cuisine, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I got my Christmassy whisks ready, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make these pancakes, and trust me, it's gonna knock your socks off. ordinary pumpkin pancakes. They're actually gluten-free pancakes. So how we're going to do this is we're going to make this without flour. So we have some rolled oats here that I'm going to put in the blender to grind up so that this will then turn into that binding ingredient to hold these pancakes together. Then we're going to use some baking soda to keep them nice and fluffy and then mix in some other delicious ingredients, including this pumpkin puree, which is the key ingredient to making these pumpkin pancakes. So to get started, what we wanna do is we wanna break an egg into our mixing bowl, like so. And if you do it with one hand, you get extra points. Then you wanna crack the next egg. So I'm gonna have a list of ingredients all below for you so that you can be sure to make these recipes on your own. So next what we want to do is we want to open up this pumpkin puree with a can opener like so. Make these pumpkin pancakes too. You'll also see some Amazon affiliate links and those are some of the products that I really love using from my pans to the salt box that I love and all these different things and the ingredients will also link you over to Amazon as well. So the thing is when you purchase those items off of Amazon, Amazon gives me a little bit of a commission for promoting that product for them for Amazon. So anytime you buy those products using the links below, it gives me a small commission so you get to try new things and then it helps me keep creating content for you guys on this channel. So it's a win-win for the both of us. So now that we have removed the pumpkin spice it's time to put three fourths cup into this measuring cup. So we're just gonna, oh, you smell that? Well, you can't smell it. But when you make it, you're gonna smell it and it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like the holidays, guys. That's why I love pumpkin, is because it just reminds me of the holidays. Look at that. So that is about three fourths cup of pumpkin puree. Ooh. Look at it. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just knock this down because I want all of the pumpkin to go to the bottom. So I can make sure that I got exactly three-fourths cup, which we have exactly three-fourths cup. Now we're going to add this to the mixing bowl. Come on out, buddy. Come on. I believe in you. Take the jump. There we go. All right, oh, look at that pumpkin. Mixing in there with the eggs. Mm. It's making my mouth water. Okay, so now that we got our pumpkin puree in there. So next what we wanna do is we wanna add some unsweetened almond milk. And I always make sure that I get unsweetened because we're not putting any sugars, additional sugars like brown sugar or granulated sugar in these pancakes. So I don't wanna put any ingredients in there that might not be necessary to add additional sugars in. So just to check the unsweetened, if that was, is what you prefer. And we're gonna do 2 thirds cup of almond milk. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into the mixing. And all right, we're just gonna take a second, mix up these ingredients. All right looking nice. So now what we want to do is we want to take one tablespoon of maple syrup and add that to the mix to give it a little bit of sweetness. 
but of course we will still put maple syrup on top of the pancakes. That's just a given. So now we're gonna add one tablespoon of syrup, but keep that close by for after they're made. And then what we wanna do is add one teaspoon of baking soda to make them nice and fluffy. Boop. The fun part, I think, is taking these rolled oats, grinding them up and making our own oat flour. And that's what's gonna make these gluten-free. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, what I'm gonna use is my Magic Bullet Blender. I also have a link for this on the description below if you wanna go on Amazon and buy one yourself. I love it for just making smoothies for myself and doing things like this, mixing up, grinding up oats if needed for my own oat powder. So what you wanna do is you wanna add one and a half cup of rolled oats to this Magic Bullet. Mmm, look at those oats, yum. Gonna add that to the magic bullet. Woo, getting a little crazy with the oats. Stay, don't be jumping chip on me guys. Then we're gonna do the same thing with a half a cup. So now we're gonna screw on the magic bullet lid, which is where all the grinding happens. And now you have a maraca. That's what you have. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the blender, grind it up so that we'll have some oat flour. Let's go. make your own oat flour. Can you believe it's that simple? So now that our oats are nice and ground up, we can add this one and a half cup of oats to the mix. And I also got these from Amazon too. So they'll be linked below as well because I've been kind of excited about, not kind of, actually completely excited about the home edit on Netflix. I watched it so much and having my pantry categorized with uniform canisters is just, it makes my heart melt. It really does. It's just beautiful. So, you know, that's, this is not the home edits, but this is on Amazon and that's where I got these. So link below if you want them as well. So now that we've added the oat powder that we just made from fresh rolled oats, we can mix this all together. And now, one of my final ingredients, we just wanna sprinkle in some cinnamon. Whoa, cinnamon got a little excited. So I really like to leave this up to you. I'm a true lover of cinnamon. So I put a good bit in there. It was a little bit more than a sprinkle. It was more like a dab or a, a toss of cinnamon. So, but I like to do it towards like smell and that is starting to smell really good. Finishing mixing out these ingredients, you know what time it is. Cue the music. Down in the dirt. <laughs> okay guys, enough of that. My little spatula is getting worn out and I gotta mix it up with this arm a little bit so that this arm doesn't get extra strong. We can't have that. All right, mmm, it smells so good. Ah, okay, one more ingredient that I almost forgot is salt. Gotta add a little salt to the batter to give it that, that salty sweet mix. So you just wanna do one fourth tablespoon of salt and then you wanna mix this in. Ta-da! Okay, so we're not done yet, but guys, it is time to put these pancakes on the stove and let them start cooking. So what I've done is I have heated up a skillet to about medium heat, and then I'm just gonna pour in some avocado oil to let these guys cook in. So, let's go. Oh. 
All right, you guys, look at those pancakes. Oh, they're still steamy. They look and smell so good. I cannot wait to give these a taste test, which we know is the true test. So, of course, we have to add a little syrup on top to make them perfection. Oh, guys, look at that. I can't even. That was a lot of syrup, but that's my kind of syrup right there. Just enough that will fill the bowl too. So, now I'm about to let you guys know if this is something that you need to make for your family this Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, look. So moist. And I can confirm so moist guys these are yeah we got to get a little syrup action on this these are moist and i can taste the pumpkin in them so it gives it that nice holiday taste but at the same time still so moist and fluffy guys can you believe that these are gluten-free these pancakes are not made with any flour, just the oats, the rolled oats we made ourselves. Guys, oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, so Thanksgiving just got even more special for you guys because now Thanksgiving morning, you can surprise your family with these delicious pumpkin pancakes, then roll right into cooking the turkey making some sweet potato souffle and all the works. Don't forget the stuffing. I can't wait to go visit my parents and see them and also do all of our fun family recipes because us Pratt's, we love to cook in the kitchen. So it's gonna be a fun week. So I hope you've learned a lot from this and that you um, can go and try this on your own. And if you post on Instagram, please tag me. I'd love to see it at Southern Urban Life. And if you haven't already, go on and subscribe below so you get notified every time a new video is posted. I love making things, whether it's food or DIY, and keeping it healthy at the same time. So if you are interested in those kind of things too, we make new videos and post them every Monday. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified every time a new video is posted and you will never miss out. So until next time, guys, I will see you then. Bye, y'all. So, so good.